Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whenever you are watching this. So I just want to give a little bit of review first, right? That a um, power is anything with an exponent. Um, the base is the large number, and then the exponent is the number that's smaller up top. So if we're looking at this, right, the base is the number that's being multiplied. The exponent tells you how many times it's being multiplied. Okay, so that's all that that is telling us is sort of that little review. So kind of keep that in mind, okay? Now, for honors, right, I want to see if you can figure out what's happening here. If I say x to the third times x to the fourth, that is x to the seventh. Whereas if I said y squared times y to the fifth, that is y to the seventh. What do you think is happening? What do you think is happening? How am I getting that exponent at the end? We are adding the bases. So if multiplying two numbers with the same base, we are going to add the exponents. We are going to add the exponents, okay? So looking at that first piece, right, this would be x squared plus 6, right? 2 from here, 6 plus here, from here, and you're getting x to the 8th. For one like this, we have 4 plus 3. I'm sure you got that. But don't forget, there's this other 5 right here, and that kind of has an invisible 1. So this is actually plus 1 as well. And so that actually gives you 5 to the 8th. Now, if you are the person, and I know that we have people like that, and that is A-OK, -okay, who, who are like, how the heck is she doing that? I don't understand. I understand that you said add, but like, I still don't understand what you're saying and how you're getting that. Um, so basically what's happening, right, is we're saying two X's from right here, and then we have six from here. And so we have a total of eight X's. So that's our new exponent. When you're multiplying, the exponent is what's going to change. When you're adding and subtracting, that's going to be their coefficient, the number in front. Okay, so same thing here. We would have five. We have these fives being multiplied together, and I really should be including multiplication signs, sorry. And then we have another three being multiplied together from right here. And then last but not least, right, we have this last five for a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight fives. Okay? Now, one like the next one where you have this negative and you see no number and all that, like that's an extra step. You might be very good at saying, well, I know it's x to the fifth, but maybe you're stuck on the front. So in between this negative and these x, do you know what number would be there? A one, good. So we're gonna take negative one, we're gonna multiply by three, so we're gonna get negative three, and then x to the fifth. Again, if you're like, Miss Sherman, what in the world are you doing? This is negative one times one, two, three x's, and then we're timesing that by three, and then two more x's. So we have two, five x's, and then one time, negative one times three is negative three, okay? I want you to take that same thought process, and I want you to try the next one.